Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I wanted to do a video about this email or this email sequence, this transaction I had with this company that kind of demonstrates thinking outside the box and how you know dealing with people, even customer service people, in just a mundane situation and adding a little bit of humor and just making light of things that, that that can be made light of you know can can really drastically alter the course of events of a, of a situation and can produce some really good and desirable outcomes and this is one of those things that I've done quite a few times in my life I have a bunch of stories of writing these wacky letters or these crazy emails to people and getting awesome responses and you know and I think you know it's just an entertaining story. I think, you know, for, for the most part, it's just, I happen to come across this email from, from way back and I thought I'd share this with you, but, uh, but yeah. So anyway, what ended up happening was this was, I was, this was back, uh, when my, my wife was pregnant and we were, I was going to order some brownies from this company It's called fairy tale brownies pretty good company really good brownies anyway i was going to order some brownies and i was going to order some for some of the rental properties uh, from either from my tenants yeah i was going to send some to the tenants as well and i had ordered put, placed an order for some brownies and i wanted it by a certain date uh, it was a, it was an order for for my wife and like i said she was pregnant and so i wrote up this this really a uh, crazy email because what ended up happening was when I placed the order they said that it wasn't going to arrive in time it was going to arrive like I don't know like a day later like on Thursday and I wanted it on Tuesday and you know th so I was a little bit disappointed about this I can't remember exactly the reason but I wrote them a letter that basically said that like it was just crazy story and I talked about how I had barricaded myself in my room and it was dangerous to go outside and I could I didn't want to tell her the news I can't remember exactly what it was and she was eating you know I, I can't remember exactly you know it was crazy I'll read you one of the letters the responding one because I don't have that original one unfortunately but what ended up happening was you know I, I sent off this crazy kind of of letter saying it's an emergency situation and uh, and here's a response that I got back from them and this was a humorous letter that I, I had sent them but I thought this was, was pretty interesting. So I got this response back from Fairy Tale Brownies after I'd done that, which was, Hello, Mr. Sanmez. I appreciate your concern regarding the arrival of your wife's order of Fairy Tale Brownies. Due to the extreme heat of the Arizona summers, we restrict shipping during the months of June through September. With standard UPS shipping orders placed on Wednesdays after 2 p.m., Mountain Standard Time don't ship until the following Monday, to avoid having the brownies sit in a UPS facility over the weekend. I understand the extreme distress this has caused and apologize for it. As you noted, the brownies will be delivered on Thursday of this week. As we recognize the dire situation you and Mrs. Sanmez are facing, we are immediately shipping a dozen of our new fairy tale cookies to help remedy this. These new delicious fairy tale cookies will arrive to you tomorrow, Tuesday. There will be no charge for this emergency shipment. Please watch the UPS driver tomorrow as he or she will be delivering this temporary fix. Again, I apologize and trust our quick action will in part resolve the distress occurring at West Brogan Drive, which was my address at the time. Please don't hesitate to contact me if additional action is required. Have a fairy tale day. And this was actually from Ellie Perry, who's the customer service team leader at the time at Fairy Tale Brownies. And <laughs> I mean, this is pretty funny. So I just to, to give you the, the next part of the story, I get this email, and sure enough, the very next day, they had FedEx overnight FedEx a shipment of cookies completely free overnight not today they did an overnight shipment right and so i mean this is crazy or, or i guess it was ups right overnight you that one day you ups that was expensive to to send plus it was totally free and they gave me the free cookies now why did they do this right i mean okay so you know and i'll, I'll tell you the well okay i'll tell you the rest of the story Let, let's let's go on here so to, to my reply here but um but uh so, and this happened within an hour. So this was with, within an hour of me sending my crazy letter. And let me, let me see what I had replied here. And then, 
uh, you know, just my, my funny reply. So, okay, so I said, Ellie, it appears that your cookie fix arrived just in the nick of time. As I had told you before, I had secluded myself to my office for fear of my life and general well-being. I had created a bunker for myself composed of chairs, desks, and other heavy furniture which I could find. The bunker was holding pretty well at the time of our first correspondence, but my situation quickly deteri deteriorated that evening as my wife had managed to chew through several of the chairs at the base of the fortress, leaving quite a weak spot in my defenses. In the darkness of the night, I could see her evil red eyes staring at me through the openings in the furniture barricade. I knew that I would be safe for as long as her... I, I, I knew that I would not be safe for long as her resolve was absolute. Around 33, uh, about 3.30 a.m., she passed out unconscious from exhaustion, but I feared that I would wake up, w but cut. <laughs> cut, I'm used to like cutting, actually. So, uh, but I feared that would wake up with a renewed energy fueled by brownie bloodlust. I did what I could to reinforce the barracks, but I was out of furniture and scotch tape is not a very good binder for items of any significant mass. The next morning, she was at it again, and just as I thought it was over for me, the doorbell rang. FedEx had arrived with fairy tale cookies to save the day. Those extremely and actually insanely ridiculously high calorie cookies, how the heck do you fit so many calories into such a small package? The equivalent of equivalent amount of pure butter is less calories completely distracted her from her assault on me and quelled the brownie rage. I was saved thanks to your fast thinking and excellent customer service. The brownies also arrived on Thursday as scheduled and they were also wonderful and even more calorie dense. Seriously, you must be using some kind of magic voodoo to pack that many calories into a little brownie. There were no further incidents I am happy to report and we are considering buying a bunch of brownies for all of our tenants in our rental properties provided we can still use that 20% off coupon and work out a deal on shipping. Thank you again. You, sir, have saved the day and perhaps the life of many innocent bystanders from the brownie rage. Sincerely, John Sonmez. So, <laughs> uh, let me see what the final response here was, basically. Uh, good morning. This is from Ellie. Uh, good morning. I'm so glad we're able to avert a complete meltdown at your residence. We've seen this type of situation. We know we have to work quickly to avoid catastrophe. I must say, though, this was the most extreme I've come across. It's good to know you're not alone, right? I was so worried when I didn't hear back from you. I tracked the package of cookies and knew it had been delivered. I came close to picking up the phone to contact you to, or to contact the Idaho National Guard, but thought I'd give it just a bit more time. I did have FEMA on standby by it, though. Mr. and Mrs. Sanmez, I would be pleased to assist you with purchasing brownies for your tenants, 20% off and free shipping. There just might be others who are in dire need of brownie therapy. Fairy tale brownies, saving families, saving worlds, have a fairy tale day. Okay, so why am I telling you this story besides that it's kind of funny? Uh, you know, for, for a couple of reasons. One, you know, and I have to be reminded of this myself, is that like, okay, so what happened? Like, I just want to break this down for a second. So what happened was essentially, I, I believe now, now if I recall correctly, that my wife had placed an order for these brownies and she was upset that they weren't going to be delivered until the very next week, which, which upset her. She wanted to get her brownies quickly, right? And so she kind of gave it to me and said, said, could you do something about this? Could you email them? Could you see if they could ship it faster? And instead of me being all pissed off and, you know, saying, hey, this is unacceptable. What the fuck? Like, why are you making this like a week late delivery? Like we're ordering it today. Why do we have to wait a whole week? Why are you going to deliver it next week? That's ridiculous. We're paying for shipping, right? We even paid for expedited shipping. This is ridiculous. Instead of doing it like that, uh, you know, I, I did a different approach. Instead, I said, okay, I'm going to tell this entertaining story, right? Because I know that this works in the past and I could tell you some other stories. Maybe I'll do some other videos where, where I talk about the, the doorknob incident in my dorm. But I, I could tell you some other stories where this has worked multiple times in the past. But instead I said, you know what? This customer service person, they're not having very much fun. They get complaints like this all the time. 
what if I take the, that different route and I write this funny story? And I just like, you know, and, and I wish I had the original story, but you can kind of get the idea of it based on the, the second email that I wrote. But what if I write this funny story and I just like, you know, just give them a good time. Like, you know what I mean? And, and you know, just kind of say that I, I wish that I want the brownies sooner. And, and if there's something they can do, maybe they'll do it then. But um, that's what I did, right? And so the thing is like by doing that, I didn't be one of those complaining assholes. I stood out, it was different, right? And and I gave them some entertainment, some fun. And it, it, they reciprocated, right? That person, that customer service person, who if I would have written a complaining email and said, what the fuck, you know, I can't believe you're doing this, right? You know, give me my money back or like you better ship those brownies out. They would have said, I'm sorry, we can't do that. Or, you know what I mean? They might have had some kind of can polite response or something like that. But what happened? They literally, they shipped me a free box of cookies and FedEx it or UPS it one day shipping overnight shipping it must have cost them 50 or 60 dollars plus the cookies plus they sent the original order as well right so that's pretty amazing right but it doesn't stop there okay so when they do that okay I get that and guess what happens to me I feel really good about that right as a customer right maybe they spent some money but I feel really good about that and I, you know, I'm sharing it now, but I shared it with a bunch of people. They got a ton of publicity from when I first got this email and I, and I shared that because that was amazing customer service, right? And they got to send this funny response back to me. But what happened then? Then I sent off another email, you know, another funny email, entertaining them some, some more and thanking them. And what ended up happening at the end of that was that they basically, like it was a win-win situation, right? It was good for both of us because not only did I end up buying brownies for all of my tenants and getting 20% off, but they offered me free shipping. So, you know, out of this whole exchange, instead of something that could have been really negative, right? It could have been bad. I could have said something that, that pissed them off and then, you know, and I'm upset at the company or they say something nasty to me or they ignore it, right? Because of this, what happened, we both benefited. I got, you know, some entertainment. I got some free cookies, right? It was, it was fun. It was, it was worth it on my side. And not only that, but they got business. They got, because of the way that they did that, they got some extra business, okay? They got me to buy cookies for, or brownies for all of my tenants, which was a lot of money. It was a big order, okay? And in the future, and to recommend them in the future, and good press, and I get free shipping on all that. So I got a discount on that. So anyway, the whole point of the story is just to illustrate the point that like, sometimes you can create a win-win situation from a bad, like you can take something that's bad and you can add a little bit of humor to it. You can add some personality. You can recognize that people are human beings. And if you do that, sometimes you can get a really good response and it can become such a, you can take a bad situation and you can turn it to a good situation. But I try to do that a lot. You know, I have to remind myself sometimes that, you know, I have this power and maybe, and you see, you don't recognize this, but you have this power too, right? Anytime that you're dealing with something, you know, sometimes like, you know, you, you think you're entitled and you think you just want to take this approach and you just want to be like, hey, and bring the hammer down and be like, fuck you, you better do what I'm telling you to do. And that doesn't always work. In fact, it rarely works. Sometimes it does. But in, in, that, in this case, right, in, in many cases, if you switch it up and you're like, well, you know what, if I treat this person like a human being, if I tell them some kind of funny story, if I'm outlandish, if I do something, you know, silly and just, you know, what, what can I do to make their day better, then you might get them to take some steps that, you know, that they would never have done, right? I mean, if, even even if I had said, I demand you send me some something else for free overnight, right? They would have been like ridiculous. They would have never, ever, ever done that, right? But here, I didn't even ask for that, but that's what I got. And so, anyway, I thought I'd just share that story with you. It was it was kind of fun. And I've had a lot of these experiences in my life, like I said, where, where I've done this, where I used to write a lot of these kind of wacky letters. I haven't done one of these in a while, but you know, this reminded me I should, I should start doing that again because it's a really effective way to communicate. Plus it was a lot of fun. Like I didn't get angry. I didn't get upset. It was just entertaining the whole time. I mean, can you put even a, a value on that? All right. That's all I got for you today. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below and click the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos and uh, go check out fairytale brownies. If you get a chance, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.